Hello, it's Miss Emma. I've just seen a fabulous example of a child struggling to sound out a word. The word who. He couldn't remember the word, so he was trying to sound it out and really struggling. We would give him the speech sounds so he blends them to say the word or give him the word so he has to code map it and then look at the monsters and the clouds. Just going, woohoo, 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 woo wah, not sure how he got that one. He was trying to work out what's the word. And what was interesting was that people were commenting and saying, you can't sound out this word. Words represent our sounds, our speech sounds. So you can sound out every single word in the English language because the written code is built on our speech sounds. So if you come to a word the child doesn't know, give them the speech sounds and code map it so they can see where the speech sounds are represented in the word. This is called SSP code mapping. We've created this technique to visually show children how our speech sounds map on paper. It really, really helps them. Try SSP, a speech to print approach it makes so much more sense. Everything revolves around code mapping, which is unique to SSP and includes all high frequency words. And I don't just mean numbers or days of the week or months of the year or pets or members of the family or colors or shapes. Every word in the English language code map. Well, writing is talking on paper, so what do we say? We say who, well then what are the speech sounds? <sighs> Ooh. So what are the representations for <sighs> and ooh? This makes it very clear when we use code mapping instead of phonics. The speech sounds are <sighs> ooh and the sound pics, <coughs> the pictures of those speech sounds are represented by WH for <sighs> And that's not uncommon. There are a lot of words with WH for for the speech sound. Here's monster. If we took pictures of that speech sound and put them on paper, what would they look like? Well, there are three pictures. And what about ooh? Monster ooh and all the pictures of his speech sounds on paper. Ooh, who? We code map the high frequency words for children using the seven duck levels for their prep year. That's 400 high frequency words, but they're code mapping them so they understand the code. There's no point teaching them as sight words or you rob the children of the opportunity to learn more about how our speech sounds are mapped on paper. This is part of my, one of my new apps for learning high frequency words using a multi-sensory approach. <sighs> Ooh, who is duck level four word t were elve word 12. Are you ready for duck level four? Follow the sound, say the word. B oi boy, g earl girl, g ave gave. So I'm showing them visually where the speech sounds are mapped in each word. You can see black, gray, black, gray shows the speech sounds. SSP code mapping. Sh or d should. W itch which. W e er where. W e n when. <sighs> Ooh, who. So follow the sound, say the word whilst I do it. I then show them. I show them how I write them whilst I'm saying the sounds. W, I, ch, which. W, e, where. W, e, n, when. <sighs> Ooh, who. The children love it. They get it because they know how to say the word who. 
It helps their phonemic awareness to know it is h o o It means that not only do they recognize it in their reading, but they can also spell it correctly whilst they're writing. This is really important. Listen to these five year olds talk about writing high frequency words and using SSP. They love their duck cans, lines, numbers, and the monsters. And, and I like SSP because it's fun to learn, fun to listen, and it's fun to、um, see m i s Emma. And she does e n d the speech sound monster, and we d o n t do the duck ends. And lines and numbers and sound p i e c e and we can put on、um, like this. Ed、uh, said. Ed said. Ed、uh, said. Ed、uh, said. Ed、uh, and, and we like to have a split sound sandwich. Split vowel digraph. And um, um, sound which sticks together like A, like rain. Monster A. And all the pictures of his speech sound. Come and join us with the SSP Monsters, the Speech Sound Picks Approach, SSP. It just makes sense. Now, please follow my new site, monsterspelling.com.au. There's lots of free stuff on there. And also, of course, codedsightwords.com. So you can have lots of music, get the children bopping to music whilst the code maps words, are high frequency words, are flashing up on the screen. It's lots of fun and it also shows the children the new SSP monsters. There's a monster for each English speech sound. So even in the early years, the children can put the monsters in order, follow the sounds, say the words. It's a great introduction even before phonics. So, anyway, go to codedsightwords.com. This is the、uh, track we're going to do, ah, ns. Or are we going to do, ah, ns? Or do, ins? <laughs> it all depends on how you say it. I hope you'll dance with me. Woohoo! I got this feeling. Inside my bones, it goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home, we're flying up, no ceiling when w e in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it, moving so phenomenally. You're more like the way we r o c k So don't stop. And under the lights, when everything goes, nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine. Nothing I can see but you when you dance, dance, dance. Feel a good, good creeping up on you. So just dance, dance, dance. Come on. All those things I shouldn't do. Just imagine. Just imagine. 